Welcome y'all. Welcome that seatbelt across the door. <laughs> strap your strap this thing on. Y'all, I can't with me waited good and damn well to so pick this damn no. camera up to say put your seatbelt on. Baby, we've been riding in this car no, for the I whole just time. He just gonna look over there in the middle of me recording like and say that. stuff on my dashboard like that on my dash. I don't like seeing other lights. Y'all, anyway, so welcome back, Nurse Babe Gang. My name is Carly Ray. If you guys don't know, I have been a EO nurse for the last 10 years and I recently transitioned to where I can fully step back from nursing and take a mental break. So if you guys would love to come along with me on this journey to see how my life is post nursing, then just hit that subscribe button. And also, even if you ain't no nurse, you don't have to be a nurse to be a part of the Nurse Babe Gang. We are in Tyler. Um, it's like one of the next towns over. And so we are out shopping, just running a few errands up here. Cordell had to pick up some stuff. And so we decided to stop by the mall. Um, I had to get a t-shirt from like Route 21, you know, cause Route 21, they good for them graphic tees, honey. I also stopped by Diggs because if you guys don't know, our oldest boy, um, he is in baseball as well. So we had to get him some baseball cleats, but yeah. How he said I'm a multi-sport athlete. Uh, he's a multi-sport athlete how he says it but yeah so he's in baseball and basketball and he didn't have no baseball cleats so we stopped in Dixon. I'm gonna show y'all what we picked up a little bit later we are on our way to eat Cordell has never ate at this place called Hobbies I don't know if y'all are anywhere near the Tyler area but Hobbies is a upscale type of Mexican restaurant that has really man. really good food He's gonna be the judge of it. We gonna see how he feels about it. But this is his first time coming. My cousin, she had a bridal shower here. It's, the scenery is nice. The scenery is really, really nice. I will say that. But yeah, so there's hobbies right there. Shit don't look upscale to me already. Oh, you better wait till you see it. Girl, I'm going in there. Hey, you can't watch. tell me this don't look upscale. Look at these people that are getting out their cars and what they're dressed in. Man, these all field people. Look at that. That's a damn fishing shirt. That shit like I got on. You ain't got, I no got damn a t-shirt shirt on. on. And you know what this used to be? What? What did this used the to Grove be? The Grove is right by there. No, no, no right we are by. nowhere near it the Grove. It reminds me, it looked like the Grove. No. I'm, what would you rate the outside? Which I'm finna try to show y'all. I'm gonna outside. show y'all the outside in just a second. So what would I'm you rate the outside? Uh, 9.8. A 9.8. He said a 9.8, y'all. Okay. From the front view. So, y'all, this is Javi's. finish recording but <sighs> all of this pollen and congestion is on my butt we are on the way to Dallas to go pick up Cordell's daughter I am congested and I've stopped at like two or three gas stations and nobody has Sudafed and rightfully so I kind of know you know why they don't have Sudafed on the shelves anymore but I was just hoping that maybe they did one of the guys at the 7-Eleven and y'all already know I probably shouldn't even take it be taking advice from my love all right girl I say that 
I probably shouldn't even be taking no advice from this man, but I mean, I kind of know what he mean because it, it does help. I have seen it help some people. And that heat does. So in other words, what he told me to do is like get a scoop of jalapenos, fresh cut jalapenos. Let me see. I got a scoop of fresh cut jalapenos um, to eat to help clear up my sinuses. I hope it don't turn my stomach up. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And then last night, I ain't getting no sleep. I was up from like two to six. Well, really two to five. Two to 5.30. Like up. Couldn't go back to sleep. The congestion was just that bad, bro. It was just that bad. I'm, I'm just, I'm just talking, 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 talking. Stop running away from me. Stop being scared. So. Oh, it ain't that bad. It is. It is. I don't know why you're lying. If I had like some tacos or something, I would have put it on that and ate a picture. I'm not eating the seeds. That's what you want. No, you don't. Don't, don't lie. Don't lie. I heard we're gonna do it without the seeds. It ain't worth shit. Oh. This how many I got? It ain't more than three. Okay. It's actually five. Yeah, put, you better put two of the holes in your mouth first. So Just my plan is, my plan is to eat this. Fuck a honey bun ain't gonna do nothing. Follow it with a honey bun. You gonna throw up, and if you throw up in the car, I'm not cleaning up nothing. All right, fuck it. I'll just eat it with his. No, you uh, his Sprite. Use water, bro. Not yeah. Sprite. When you do hot stuff, you need to do water or milk. You ain't got milk. That's probably gonna intensify that shit. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, Charlie. It might make it hot, I don't know. Here we go. I've never ate jalapenos. I hate spicy stuff. <laughs> Uh, hold it in your mouth for a second. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Now try to breathe. They fresh too. That's about it. I hyped all that up to be. Uh, that's a bell pepper. They ain't even no damn. Uh, it's the bell peppers. They ain't no damn. Uh, that's a jalapeno. That's a bell pepper. Well done. Anyway, pepper like period, that, jalapeno though. pepper, bell pepper, whatever. It is a pepper and I ate it. It, it really low key did. My, my, my sinuses are clear. I ain't even gonna hold you. My sinuses are clear. So it, it really must have. Your mouth hot or is it hot? Mm -mm. My mouth really ain't hot. His ass said he don't get uh he don't get he ain't been sick in the last ten years. He said the last year. Oh. Uh, damn, my bad. That's why I get this one to go. I thought he said ten years. I'm like, boy, I stopped the cap. <laughs> So I didn't get a chance to update y'all yesterday. Yesterday all we did is just we were on the road. I came back home and I slept like I crashed out like it stormed really bad last night which was great perfect sleeping and then ogre that jalapeno stuff I normally don't eat jalapenos and I normally don't like anything spicy but y'all know I tried it or whatever because I was at my wits end because I was just kind of like you know I, I gotta get over this well child I tried it and baby no no um it worked for all of like a minute to help with my congestion and then all of a sudden like it came right on back um and then it started making my stomach so upset and queasy like we even stopped at chick-fil-a i got my salad i didn't even really eat any of that every time that i burped oh baby it's it felt like i had just ate a jalapeno pepper um you know how you can feel like i mean i don't even know how to describe it because this is my first time ever having that sensation but like i would burp and like my burp smelled like jalapenos um i would burp and then like i could feel the heat coming off like it was it was just it was not a good thing but um 
So I came home, I rested. I didn't even really show y'all nothing, which I was supposed to show y'all the day before. Well, I was supposed to show y'all yesterday what I got the day before. I ain't even show y'all that. <laughs> I was just really like feeling under the weather. I was over it. I was so tired, but so I'm gonna show y'all what all I have got this past week or so. Don't mind my room because I gotta clean it up before we get ready to leave for vacation. But I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all what all I got. So let's go. Okay, so first off, starting off, I got these Nike shoes. So we were in Dick's looking for Avery, like some stuff for um, baseball. Cause as y'all know, he's like a multi-sport athlete now um, because baseball, track, and um, he's still doing his basketball AAU stuff. So we had to get him some cleats. These are not his cleats. That's the only reason why we went to Dick's, but in Dick's, Cordell saw these shoes and was like, those shoes are fire. And so I look at them and I'm like, they actually kind of are. Don't worry about my armpit. Don't worry about my armpit. If you see some hair there, just know that humans grow hair up under their arm. And I'm going to wax all of this a few days before we go on vacation. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You worry about the wrong thing. Worry about these shoes. So he said those shoes, the shoes were fire. And I was like, okay, let me go look. Baby, I go look at the shoes and they are absolutely fire. Like, y'all, look at this shoe. Like, this is a freaking shoe. So, I normally wear a size nine, but I had to get an eight and a half in this one. I'm normally like an eight and a half and a nine, but mostly nine in most shoes. But um, this shoe in particular, I had to get an eight and a half. But I love like this little python type of print that it has on the Nike check. The brown is cute. And this little pop of orange, perfect, perfect to set it off. So those are the shoes that I got from there. And I think these shoes were only like 80 some dollars. So it wasn't even bad. And then from this store, these little Facebook ads be getting me hunting in, in, yeah, it'd be, it be some good stuff, especially from this site. But this site is called Mar Lily. Marley Lily. This is the tag right here, Marley Lily. And so I got like this little travel set. And so they do the embroidering. So there's my initials right there. It is CRL. Um, and so I got this because instead of having to bring all those Shein bags and stuff like that for my toiletries and stuff like that, I can just have my own personalized like little bag set. So it comes with like this big bag right here, right? And then it has all these other mini ones, right? So in all it has So in all it has this big one like I said, this next one right here. This next one right here. This pouch right here this pouch right here and then this little small pouch right here so it has one two three four five six six bags and y'all with the embroidery and these six bags i only played twenty dollars that was a deal that i could not beat with a stick but i feel like this is such a bomb travel um like a little bomb travel set that you that everybody should really have honestly instead of having to bring those little cheap little Shein bags you got this right here for $20, which is really unbeatable. And then from Academy, I got these pink shorts. These are these pink Nike shorts right here. I think these are so cute. They are the standard above the knee length Nike shorts. Um, so I love these. These are like those Hoosh Daddy 3000 shorts or whatever that all the guys be wearing, but Baby, I put some of these on with some dunks. They look fire. So I got this outfit. I got these shorts, right? I didn't have nothing to go with it. So I was like, I need a graphic tee because like that's like that's my style. Like I'm like a more casual, laid back type of girl. I'm not really like rah, 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 dress up, dress up, dress up. I'm more of like a urban streetwear, athletic or athleisure wear type of girl. But don't get me wrong, don't get me twisted. I can really put that shit on and go out and, you know, be girly. 
So I got a graphic tee that says Barbie on it. Y'all, and it, it even have like black Barbie on there. So I was lit. I was lit for that. So I got this to go with the shorts. And then I got like some colorful dunks that I could wear with this. So I bought this outfit to go down there to um, Florida. As you guys know, we are about to take the kids next week down there on vacation. And then we'll also celebrate Chandler's birthday because that child is lucky and will always celebrate his birthday because for one, his birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. So he can always celebrate it on St. Patrick's Day for one. And then for two, the child birthday is always around like spring break so he gonna be lit so i got some few makeup type pickups i got the imv super strong whole 3d lash adhesive this stuff right here y'all need to go get it absolutely love it go get it it has my lashes and like mind y'all i use strip lashes whenever i'm doing my makeup and stuff and this has my eyelashes on strong like it stays on there strong i've even went to sleep like i'm that girl that used to use hair glue on her lashes you know you know if you know you know i used to use that black hair glue on my lashes right because they had a stronger hold than that duo lash glue girl this put that stuff to shame I, and all i do is create like a little winged liner on my eye with like the little adhesive and i just put it up there and it just sticks on there baby like it's 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 amazing. It's perfect. I love it. Can't do without it. That is a must buy. Not even going to hold you down. Like, that's like my third bottle of that stuff. And honestly, that's what's been keeping me away from getting my lashes permanently done because it just holds my lashes so strong and I'll be having that lifting up in the corner type of feel or anything like that. Like, so then also I got the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day they compared this on tiktok to the milani make it last i had the milani make it last i actually love it to be realistic but i wanted to buy this and try it out and see um what the hype really is all about and if it is even like worth anything once again influenced by tiktok I've been watching all the little Selena and Kylie Jenner type of little stuff, which I don't know why that's been on my feed. Like, why is that type of content on my feed? Like, I don't, I don't know these people. I don't, I don't jive with these people like that. But anyway, so it prompted me to remember that I wanted to try out the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush. I got it in the shade, I believe. This is how it looks. So I've been seeing so many girls love this. And even at like my local Sephora, it was always sold out. This is what it's looking like. Let me see if I can get if I can get it to focus. Okay. So that's the color of it. I will see how it goes on on my face whenever I decide to do my makeup, which I don't know if I do it tomorrow because y'all know Chandler has a game tomorrow. It's his last game. And then not to mention, they also have pictures at eight o'clock in the morning. So yeah. The last thing that I got as far as in like a makeup pickup is the one size ultimate setting powder. Back in the day, if y'all know Patrick Starr, he used to be a big YouTuber, right? Well, he used to have a setting spray long time i'm mean, not a setting spray child he used to have a setting powder back in the day a long time ago i had mine in like a red container it was by patrick star i loved it i absolutely loved it and so i ran out and then you know laura mercier i went right back to her girl in that patrick star one i don't i guess it was like a limited edition that he did with mac so I never got a chance to repurchase it because it was always sold out. So now that he has his own brand, he has his own setting powder. I got it, it's in the shade Translucent number one. And so I seen, once again, a few of the girls on TikTok really raving about his setting power, setting powder. And that's when I remember like, dang, you know what? Back in the day, he had a collab with Mac and I loved his setting powder then. So let me try the one from his brand because as y'all already know, baby, I am a faithful OG to that setting spray, baby. When I tell you that setting spray that he has, 
it makes the makeup last forever. So typically how I set my face is I set it with like stuff like this, like, you know, like a liquid like this. And then I use his setting spray, which is like an aerosol. And so I finish it off with like his setting spray. But y'all, can we get into how I feel so accomplished because I cooked today. Got up, cleaned up my kitchen. I cooked for the kids. I put my man's plate up. I fixed my kids some food and stuff like that. But I feel like really like feminine because I was able to like really just have the energy to get up and cook. Oh. You said you wanted more camera time. Yeah, but it's like, you know. Y'all, y'all hear his voice? It's so deep. Bro, that's all they do. All they do. But one more camera time. All they do. You tell you need to holler at me at 2K. Holler at you on 2K? What's your name on 2K? Right there. What does this stand for? That's my name spelled backwards. Why? Why not? You ain't got no X in your name. Yeah, yeah, I replaced it. Replaced the E with the X. Child, you are as basic as they come. Why are you trying to have a complicated name, bro? Chill out. Chill out. You want to put my whole government in here? Uh-huh. What, bro? Can I show them my race? Can I race for them? Come show on. them your race. Yeah. Let's, I want to show them both of my cars. Can I show them how I race both of my cars? Where you so, guys, um, I got this car. This is how much it costs. I don't know what's the best. That much. Hmm? Mom, I had that much gold and I got that car. And I got that car. So you said your room is a mess. Yeah. So, guys. So, we shouldn't be Mama, recording. Mama, let me show them. Because your room is a mess. Yeah. Mama, let me show them how I rest them. My back's messed look. up. Really My chair's off. Look. Mama, look. Look. Girl, you funny. Look, Mama, show them. Okay, okay. This is, I'm finna race. This car and then my other car, guys. Really this car is really fast. Tell them to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to this channel. If I beat this kid. Okay. Come on, Chan. You got it. You got it. You got it. Good job. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, guys, if I do win again with my other car, y'all have to subscribe again to if we make another banger. Anyways, <laughs> 10 out of 10, how you like your room? 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10? No, 100. 100 out of 10, okay. You said 100. Chan, chill out, baby, this ain't your room. That's what you get. Ooh, chai. You got it out on one try. Let me see. Okay, so you a pro. Yeah. <laughs>
y'all. So it is the next day. Yesterday, I think when I left off talking to you guys, we had just took the kids to go jump. And then, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever took, you know, kids to go jump or whatever, but they play like really, really loud music. Great. My battery would want to die. Okay, camera's back. What I was saying was that I think I left off that we were taking the kids to go jump. And if you guys know anything about taking the kids to go jump, I'm that type of person I like to watch my kids because some of those kids that be in there, baby, they, 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 they be with the shits and I ain't got time for nobody to hit my kid or try to take my kid, you know, that type of thing. So, um, more so I was just trying to be attentive and then not to mention they played music super loud in there. Um, so that's why I really wasn't able to vlog. We came back, all the kids wanted to stay tonight because of course we're the cool parents. Um, <laughs> and that's, that's not to say like, we don't do what we need to do as parents, but we understand that, you know, there's a different way to parent. We're not trying to be their friend, but we're just trying to be open enough to where they are able to come to us with any type of situation, um, they may be going through or anything like that. Because truth be told, like growing up back in the day, we didn't grow up like that. Growing up back in the day, baby, it was just more so of like a dictatorship. Like you do what I say and don't ask no questions. Me and my husband both grew up in that type of environment. But um, we understand that, you know, there's different ways to be effective with your parenting rather than it being a dictatorship. With me, I don't know about my husband, but I know for our family, all my cousins and us, which I don't, I don't have any brothers or sisters on either side, on my dad's side or my mom's side, my cousins stand over the not, you know, at my house or me staying over my cousins and them house. That was like a huge thing for me. And I loved every second of it. And I try to recreate some of those memories with my kids and you know my family members like my little cousins and stuff like that so Cordell Zion I mean I said Cordell Zion <laughs> Cordell's daughter was in town right and so she hadn't got a chance to really just spend the night with her cousins so um I, I felt like that was a huge thing or a good thing to be able to let her experience spending time with her cousins um and everybody got to spend the night and that was like my first time just having my little cousins over having fun so it was really, really good for me to experience. Is this a see-through shirt? Let me see. Well, it's it's okay. It's fine. But yeah, uh, we'll see what your daddy got to say about it because you know how he is. He's a good man. Nah, I don't think so. It ain't it ain't that see-through, but yeah. Put it in the microwave. But yeah, so what I was saying, I was just happy that I was able to let them experience that and spend time with each other. Chandler, you know, he doesn't really get to experience that a lot. It's mostly just his brothers um, that he normally is always with. So the fact that he was here. You said what, baby? Oh, uh, you can leave it open. Either or. It don't matter. I went to go get the kids donuts and stuff and Cordell's with the boys. Um, they have to, my best friend, we have an old bed in our storage unit. And so, um, we have an old bed in our storage unit. So Cordell and the boys went to go get that and take that to my best friend cause she bought it. So he's doing that with the boys. I just dropped my little cousin's name off because they are going back to Dallas today. And right now it's just me and me. <laughs> it's just me and her at the house all I'm really doing is just vacation prep as, as y'all know we're leaving in a few days and so um I'm just prepping I bought me an Amazon uh wig a curly wig so we gonna see how she turned out this is my first time ever just having to order hair so um I looked on TikTok and baby let let me tell you one thing about TikTok baby if you want to know anything or want to research anything and get the information quick and fast, go to TikTok. So I went to TikTok to try to see like, you know, which curly closure we would be good. And I found one. So the knots, only downside that I can say is that the knots did not come bleach, baby. They was thick as hell. They was thicker than, oh yeah. They were thicker than a damn snicker. So 
I'm having to bleach the knots, which baby, I can't even remember the last time that I truly had to bleach some knots. But I'm bleaching those knots and just really doing like a Sunday reset. Just washing clothes, folding up clothes, and just preparing my house before we leave for vacation. But I don't know if I told y'all, Chandler had his last game uh, yesterday. And he did so good for this whole season, especially for it to be like his first basketball game. I'm going to insert some clips and let y'all see. But yeah, as y'all know, my son is the point guard. Chandler went from not being able to really just dribble like that to really just like being the point guard, being the leader, understanding like the lay of the land, you know, when it comes to like basketball and understanding as the point guard, I have to facilitate things. So I was really proud of him and his improvements that he made um, throughout the season. I was also super proud of my husband because y'all know that first game when I was out the country, they lost, but I was just kind of like, you know, this team, me and my husband, we were just kind of like, this team has way too much potential to be losing. You get what I'm saying? Like, if anything, we should be dominating. So Cordell stood up and helped out coach, which I thought was amazing. And ever since Cordell, like they lost their first game, right? So Cordell took over their second game. They played a total of six games. So they lost it. They, they played a total of six games. They lost their first game. So Cordell stepped in, you know, before the before the second game, right? Well, they won it. They won the second game, won the third game, won the fourth game, won the fifth game, won the sixth game. So ever since Cordell stepped in, baby, that team won. Also, let me put y'all on stuff. Now, if y'all want y'all clothes to smell super good to where y'all don't really have to wear like any perfume or cologne or anything like that, this right here, this is it. It's called Glamorous Wash and it is the scent Diva. It is a fine laundry detergent. So I use this on top of my game. So I feel like my gang gets my clothes clean, which is what I needed to do. And this right here is just like a scent booster. But I love, 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 love this stuff right here. So I also just put a little bit of this in the laundry as well. I don't know if y'all have a Ellis Pottery, but I always get it from Ellis Pottery. Um, but it is like the people that make it is the Tyler Candle Company. Um, it's out of Tyler, Texas, so I love supporting a local business, so especially when they got a good product, honey, and that is a really good product, like 10 out of 10, absolutely recommend if you get the opportunity to. Oh, snap, girl. Baby, look. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. Child. Let me see if I can fix this. Come on. Get it. Hold it up. Get behind 
here. You see how you put it right here? That's it. Slide that out the way. You have your nail. We'll pick it up. Done. You have. Remember to do that one by yourself. Kill yourself. I ain't taking you to the hospital. Put it all the way behind it. You gotta hold it. Done. Put it down on it. Done. Set the knife down. Put your little rag. Wipe your hands off. Alright, you want me to show you something? Caramelizing some onions. See how I do this? Look. This up. No, I, I, that's how I put my son. Let me see what you're doing then. Let me see you work with it then. Yeah. Since you're talking like you do it. No, hey, that you like that. You're going to pick it up. Come on. Hold your hand. I'll do it with you. Ready? Damn, Zion. I can't even touch it. You got a hold with it. me. You ready? Now I'm gonna show you a real little trick. Now we go get a little bit of, a little bit of butter. A little butter. Why does that keep it? Nah, man, that was just a little butter just to get me started in that way. Oh, oh God, we out of butter? Here, it's all right. What is that? I missed. Huh? Huh? That's how I know she bougie. She said, what is that, hummus? There <laughs> ain't no hummus. It's some garlic spread here. Let me show you more. You gotta watch my cars, you might put some of that in that spot. That's garlic butter? Yeah, just, just watch me work. Can you do this? Mix that in there like that. Mix it like this? Mix it in like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Chef Z. Okay, Chef Z. It smells like fried rice, but with soy sauce. Yeah! <laughs> Chan, happy birthday, boy. <laughs> Day two. Day two. Day two. Day two. 